Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we will be doing altitude range test with NFZ certificate. So with NFZ certificate, it's clear that we can fly more than 500 meters. In this video, we will try to reach 1000 meters height. So watch this video till the end to know the maximum height range that Mini 2 can cover with the NFZ certificate. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the so map. Once our home point is updated, let's quickly go into the unlock geo zone and turn on the drone hacks certificate. Turn on the certificate, you need to go into the safety settings and scroll down and click on unlock geo zone. There you get a drone hack certificate to unlock the 15 meters restriction and no fly zones. To know more about this certificate and hack method, you can click on the uh, link appearing in the i button and visit the video and watch it completely to know more about this NFC certificate. As we have turned on the certificate, now let's quickly take off our drone and test the max altitude range. If you guys don't have this certificate installed, then you need to purchase a drone take hacks off. license and then get the this method done. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. If you guys don't have the drone hack license, there is a chance to get this license for free. Just you need to do is, you need to participate in the giveaway contest running on this channel. Yes guys, there is a giveaway contest running on the channel. You guys can participate in that and try your luck. I will add the giveaway video link in the description and I will also be adding the link in the i button. So quickly visit the video and be the part of the giveaway contest. Now on the screen you can see that we have exceeded 120 meters of height. So if you guys are planning to test this altitude range then I would recommend you guys to go to some open place and try this hack and also make sure uh, you are not flying it in any yellow zone or red zone areas. Even in yellow zone and red zone you will be able to fly uh, at your desired height but uh, let's follow the government rules and not uh, fly it in any red zone or yellow zone. Now on the screen you can see guys that we have exceeded 500 meters without any issue and till now we have not got any strong wind warning till we get any strong wind warning continuously we'll keep on ascending the height and we'll test out at what uh, height it will max reach up to if you guys are flying your mini or mini 2 uh, more than 120 meters then make sure you are not getting any strong wind warning if you are getting a strong wind warning and if you are still flying it for some extent then there is a high chance that you may lose your drone because in such cases what happens is there will be a high uh, interference in the signal and uh, even drone will lose its path and keep on drifting to the way of the wind and even RTH will not work whenever there is a strong wind. As you can see on the screen we have exceeded 800 meters and also monitor the battery status. We are at currently running at 53%. So at the height of uh, 830 meters, we have uh, started getting a strong wind warning continuously. From here, we will not be increasing our height because I don't want to risk my drone. And also you can see the battery status that is at 52%. In the battery status, it also showing that it needs another 48% for uh, uh, getting back to the home. So during high wind, uh, it consumes a uh, lot of battery power. So I will not be increasing the height. We will just descend back and go back to the home. So with this, we got an assurity that Mini 2 can exceed 1000 meters without any issue. Because at 830 meters height also, we did not lose connectivity between drone and RC. There was a perfect signal between RC and aircraft. So as you can see on the screen that I was operating a quick shot and all of a sudden my DJI flap crashed and I have reopened my DJI flap. This is some frequent issue that I am facing from DJI flap. Uh, whenever we will be flying uh, our drone and our drone will be in the air. Uh, if we quickly operate some of the functions then uh, automatically DJI flap will be crashed and we need to reopen it again. So please provide your opinion about this issue. If you guys are also facing the same issue, please comment below and let me know about this. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you have liked this video and found this video informative. If you guys found this video informative, do hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to participate in the giveaway. The link is in the description. You can visit the video and participate in the giveaway. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.